really unfortunate. Like they, I feel like they did that intentionally. They had to have done that intentionally, right? Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. You saw the title of this video. <laughs> Glossier had a new release. Of course I needed to buy it. And of course I bought all of the shades. So luckily there were only four this time. <laughs> Today I'm gonna be swatching all four shades of the Glossier Solar Paint on my arm and on my face. I also used it on my eyes, but I'll get into that soon. And we're gonna see what the finish of this really is. I know a lot of y'all watching are gonna have the same question I had, which is how shimmery is it? So we're gonna get into that today. Each of these are $20, which I actually thought was kind of steep, especially for Glossier. Like if you look at their cloud paint, this is $18, but then I actually got these in my hand and I was like, wait, these are kind of big. The cloud paint has 0.33 fluid ounces, whereas the solar paint has 0.43. So it really is like, significantly more product in the solar paint. So do I think the price increase from 18 to 20 is justified? Yes, but do I also think that they could have made this smaller and charged less for it? Also, yes, I understand. Whole profit margin thing. My favorite thing about the solar paint that I wish was a thing in the cloud paint is that the solar paint comes with a doe foot, which <laughs> if any of y'all have used the cloud paint, you know that it gets out of hand real quick. Having a Delphit would have been very helpful for that. So I'm glad at least for their new releases, they're implementing that. Now let's just go ahead and look at the arm swatches of all of these. So let's first take a look at Flare, which is the lightest shade. Flare is described as a light neutral bronze with gold pearl for fair to light skin tones. Now this is actually the one that I figured I would use the most and would look the best on my skin, but we'll see how it is on the cheek swatches. But here it is in an arm swatch. The next darkest shade we have is Ray, which is described as a medium warm bronze with gold pearl for light medium skin tones. And this one is actually significantly warmer in undertone than, uh, than Flare was right before it. So here it is. The third deepest shade is Heat, described as a rich brown bronze with gold pearl for tan deep skin tones. And uh, the jump between Ray and Heat is actually pretty significant, as you can see here. And then lastly, we have Volt, which is a deep red bronze with copper pearl for deep, rich skin tones. And we can look at this shade range here. Um, it's lacking quite significantly. Volt is the deepest shade and it is not even that deep. Also, the undertone of Volt is very red. So yeah, big sigh, kind of disappointing. And by kind of disappointing, I mean very disappointing. This, I, uh, so many people will be interested in this kind of product, but uh, this is what we got. Here are all four of those shades after it's dried down for about five minutes and we can kind of see the sparkle in it. It does have a little bit of glitter, which is unfortunate. <laughs> I haven't tried these on my cheeks yet because I wanted to do it live with y'all. So let's go ahead and start with the lightest shade, which is Flare. In terms of what we're starting with on my face, I have just some of this ColourPop Tinted Moisturizer in the shade 7W. This $1 mascara from AOA, it's called the Fat Lash and it absolutely slaps. And I also have the e.l.f. Wow Brow in the soft black color. Oh, and also on my eyes, I have a mix of Ray, which is the second lightest shade, as well as Volt. So let's go ahead and start with Flare. Let me zoom y'all in. Okay, a little closer. And I am only wearing like a tinted moisturizer so you can see how it looks on really real skin. <laughs> so let's just do a couple dots there. I'm doing kind of fatter dots for this one because it is a lighter shade. And I'll go ahead and put some of this on my temples too. And I do like the color Flare for like a very subtle look on me. I have kind of light, medium skin tone. And because I have touched this product already, I know that you actually have a little bit of time to work it in. It doesn't dry super fast, which I like. There we have it, that's how the first shade looks. I know some of y'all are gonna be like, sis, we cannot even see that. Okay, but this is how I would actually wear it. <laughs> I can build it up on one side for y'all so you could see how it builds and Pleasantly, as I've blended this one out, it's not, it's not that shimmery. So let's just bronze this side some more so we can see a little bit of a difference. And I like to put my bronzer pretty high up on my cheekbone, everyone's personal preference, but I think it makes my face look a little more lifted that way and less round and weighed down. All right, so there it is with just an additional layer of bronzer. And here it is with just one super sheared out layer. All right, I dig it, I dig it. <laughs> Thank God it's not shimmery. It's a little, okay, well, just kidding, I take that back. When I look super close in the mirror, like up to my face, I can notice some tiny, tiny glitter particles, which not the biggest fan of, not my favorite. But from afar, I think the effect is really pretty. I don't hate it, I don't hate it. Let's move on to the next shade. 
in between, I'm just gonna use like a wipe to wipe off the bronzer and then put on some tinted moisturizer again because I don't wanna, I don't wanna do like a double cleanse between each of these face swatches. I would do this on my bare skin if my skin were, <laughs> were uh, blank enough, clear enough to do that, but I think if I just used, did it on my bare skin, it would be a little distracting from the color of the bronzer itself. Next, let's do the second lightest shade, which is Ray. And a little dot, dot, a dot, dot. Oh, oh, and for my temple, just one dot on each side. Not a full-on streak like with the previous shade. Yeah, this looks kind of intimidatingly dark for me, but apparently this is the one that's supposed to match my skin tone. Really getting my widow's peak here. <laughs> okay. Here's how it looks with one layer of Ray, which is the second lightest shade. Again, I can pull it off. This is a very sheer product, so um, how it looks on the skin is gonna be very flexible depending on how you apply it. But I feel like most people would apply it how I just did. I do like that. It doesn't look all that different from how I remember Flare just looking on my skin. Flare was the lightest one. I'll build it up again so y'all can see what it builds up like. Just a little bit. When this first goes on, it looks kind of muddy, uh, which is not my favorite look, but because it blends out so smoothly, it doesn't end up looking like that at the end. This is more than I would apply. <laughs> yeah, we're getting into the territory where it's like, ooh, girl, um, is your lighting okay in your bathroom? But here's how it looks. So you can see two, two applications and then the one. It's not shimmery. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm really glad that this is not as shimmery sparkly as um, it looked like on the Glossier website because these look like straight up metallic eyeshadows. It's not like that in reality, but it does have, like I said, like very slightly scattered, tiny shimmers in there. So if you want something completely matte, completely like moussey, matte, dry down, obviously this is not gonna be the product, but you can see how it looks on my skin and how that glow looks. I don't think it's distracting at all. If anything, I think it's pretty. I would put it on my jaw, but I don't want to do that today. <laughs> Let's try this third shade. This is where it's gonna get, this is where it's gonna get a little out of hand. Okay, the third shade is Heat. Ugh, okay. Obviously, this is not the shade for my skin tone. Like I wouldn't, I'm probably gonna post these two darker shades on my uh, Mercari actually. If you wanna buy it from me, DM me on Instagram and I'll shave off a dollar or two because then I don't need to pay seller's fees and you don't need to pay taxes. But anyways, obviously these are not the shades for my skin tone. I'm just showing you for showing you a single dot on each side. Yep, that's what we expected. <laughs> Let's just use the heat of my fingers to tap it out. Okay, bruh, if this ends up working on me, that really tells you about the shade range, doesn't it? Okay, um, a little too much on my forehead, don't mind that. Bruh, this works on me? <sighs> Big sigh. Actually, it kind of looks like, where did it go? It looks really natural on me, um, like just how my face would look with its natural shadows, which is the goal, but I'm very confused because this is the second deepest shade. Uh, okay, let's let's just put on a little more on this side. I'll build it up. Um, I put on like a full first application too, so we could see the color a little more truly. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, not my shade, not my shade. But <laughs> the fact that I can make it my shade is funny. <laughs> All right, so there it is with two layers, two applications, and here it is with just one, super subtle. Oh, also, I want to note that this patch of darkness is not like me applying it unevenly. That's just natural hyperpigmentation on my own skin. I try to ignore it. I'm very interested to see how this super red toned one will look on me. That's the darkest. Oh my gosh, I have not used uh, like face wipes in a really long time. So my face is burning a little bit. Oh well, okay. Last, last swatch, last swatch. <laughs> Here is Volt, the red bronze one. Oh, okay, um, that one dot is gonna be enough for me. Oh, okay, these are some fat dots. <laughs> okay, let's put a little bit up here. I I'm not gonna be surprised if I'm like, oh, this doesn't look good on me, haha, <laughs> because obviously it's not made for me. Um, let's keep that in mind in the comments, people. But let's see how it shears out. That's the purpose of this exercise. Wow, this is straight up a blush on me. And I feel like for medium skin tones, this is just a really pretty blush, like a cream blush. So it's, it's, it's like a version of 
cloud paint that uh, has a doe foot to make it more convenient to use. Ooh, this is actually, I, I kind of dig this on me. <gasps> like, hey, the obligatory buildup on one side. Just put another fat dot. But you cannot tell me even on a deeper skin tone that this is gonna look like a bronzer. Yeah, there we go. Look, seeing some of that color a little more truly now. Oh, and because I'm actually um, spreading this so much around my cheek, just to share it out, and I am using it as a blush, like I'm putting it all the way up to my, to my eyes, we'll be able to see that shimmer a little better. Okay, so there it is. And then the one thin application side. This is also what I had used like along my lash line for my eye look today because I just wanted to see how it works on the eyes. And um, by the way, on the eyes, kind of would not recommend. Uh, it's a, She's given a little patchy. Yeah, this side is too much for me. We expected that. It's actually good that it's like that. But this side with the one thin application is really pretty. Like I kind of dig it. Hmm? Anyone else? I just put my hair down for this last portion of the video. So final wrap up. How are we feeling about this? I am happy, happy to announce to y'all that this is not a straight up metallic like product. It has a little bit of scattered shimmer. Um, it doesn't bother me. Like I said, I think it's quite pretty. Favorite for me is gonna be the lightest one flare just cause I like something really subtle. It's what I put back on my face for this last part. The biggest con for me uh, for this product is a shade range. Like what the, f <laughs> like it, it, it's not even that there are only four shades, but it's also that like the darkest shade has such like a red undertone and I understand that like that really suits a lot of darker skin tones but to make it the only option for undertone at that level of depth it's just really unfortunate like they I feel like they did that intentionally they had to have done that intentionally right for people to talk about it right if you can find a shade that works for you I actually think it's a really pretty product the shimmer is not like gross I actually don't even notice it on my face right now with that lightest shade and it does blend very easily. Obviously just pick one shade that works for you. I would not recommend spending $40 on this product for two different shades and hopefully this video kind of helps you decide which shade you want if you are thinking of buying this. Oh and if any of y'all are buying anything from Glossier, I do have my personal referral link like that anyone has in my description and if you buy something it gives me credit to help me pay for these future release videos and whatnot. I think I've shown you everything I can show you and said everything I can say about this product and I hope that this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up and if you like me, I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go. Remember that y'all are my treasure. Find the beauty in every day, but most importantly, be kind to yourselves. I will see you in my next video. Bye.